To help students find the articles or books that you want them to read, the library has worked with Lindenwood Online to add a tool to Canvas that allows you to directly search and upload the articles to Canvas. This means that students never have to leave the Canvas shell to do their required readings if they are available in our databases. For today, I'm going to show you how to do this for our EBSCO databases. To start, you will need to log into Canvas and then go to the shell where you would like to add the article. I'm going to use the library's test shell and then go into the modules area. For this example, I'm going to add an article to my week one module so that students will be able to find the article as a reading for week one. To add the article, you will click on the plus sign on the module and then select to add an external tool. The tool that you will be using is the EBSCO Canvas Search. Now it will ask you to select a database. If you know the database you want, you can select it or you can say select slash deselect all, which allows you to search all our EBSCO databases at one time. I'm going to use this option and then click continue. If you know the name of the article that you're interested in, you can type the name into the box or you can search for articles at this time that you think would fit your needs. I'm going to search for an article about emotional intelligence and related to Daniel Goleman. To help narrow my search, I'm going to use some of the limits on the left hand side. I'm going to select full text because you can only import the full text for articles that are part of our holdings. Scrolling down, the third article is the one that I'm interested in. So I click the plus add green button. You will then have to click add item when it returns you to the canvas menu and voila, there is the article that you selected. If you click on the article, you will see it load the full article or load the EBSCO record, which gives the students the option to click on the PDF full text to see the article. If you have any questions or run into trouble, please contact the library.